While most people lost their jobs and had to rely on unemployment benefits and stimulus checks to pay the bills, the rich got much richer. American billionaires haven't been just immune to this pandemic, they have been thriving in it. Since the beginning of the pandemic, billionaires saw their wealth grow by at least a trillion dollars. That is a big number. In fact, 47 people became billionaires as a result of this pandemic. While billionaires like Elon Musk or Warren Buffett make the headlines all the time, most rich people choose to live quietly. In fact, you might be living next to someone who might not be a billionaire but makes millions of dollars. Let's find out what are the 7 signs that someone is really rich. Number 1. They have the ability to delay gratification. This is probably the most important trait in this list and we have made an entire video on this on our second channel. When you grow up in a low-income family with no fault of your own, what often happens is that you can't think long-term because it's difficult to focus on achieving something great in 10 years when you are struggling to put food on the table. When you grow up and your only concern is to fulfill your daily needs, that mentality will become part of you. Instead of saving money to invest, for example, you indulge in sweets and entertainment and you aren't confident that you can get that tomorrow. Because when you were a kid, your parents promised you to buy sweets, for example, but didn't often deliver out of financial necessity. Instead of investing in yourself or spending a few years building a business, you decide to settle on low-paying job. There is a great book on that, Scarcity, why having too little means so much. Delaying gratification also means being disciplined. Nothing meaningful can be built overnight. Whether you want to become a CEO of the company you're working at, or a successful athlete or an entrepreneur, you need years of constant work and dedication no matter how talented are you. Number 2. Being good at socializing We know that Facebook made Zuckerberg one of the richest people in the world. But Sean Parker early on realized the opportunity and built a strong relationship with Zuckerberg and got a tiny slice of Facebook, which today worth over $2.7 billion. One thing that's certain about life is that you can't go far alone, no matter how hard you try. The world is built in such a way that you need other people to achieve great things. Of course, sometimes you're so smart that no matter how terrible your social skills are, people will still get around you because they can see that they can gain something out of you. But let's be honest, it isn't always like that. Most people aren't going to build the next Facebook or Microsoft. That's why the ability to build strong connections with others is a deal breaker. Let's say you have come up with a good business idea. By having big enough valuable connections, you can quickly turn it into a profitable business. Do you want to raise money for your business? Do you want to prepare a great sales pitch? Do you want to get hired? Learn how to sell yourself. You want to make friends and surround yourself with charismatic, ambitious and talented people? You should know how to talk to them in such a way that they would love to connect with you. We can go on and on and talk about the importance of social skills. But the point is, the better social skills you have, the higher your chances of building wealth. Number 3. They understand accounting The business world and the stock market are all standing on the shoulders of accounting. Without having a deep understanding of accounting, you can't really manage money well. The first sign of someone is wealthy or on the way to become one is that they understand accounting. They don't necessarily have to know every detail, but they have a general idea about everything. They know how to read balance sheets, income statements, cash flow statements. They know how to analyze the financial statements and figure out if the company is on the right track. You can come up with the best business idea ever, but if you lack accounting skills, you will not be able to turn it into a profitable business. History is filled with great innovators, but they couldn't profit from them because they lacked the business skills, and accounting is at the heart of it. Of course, you can hire accountants to do the job for you, but without personal knowledge, you can't make the right decision to drive the company to the right direction. 
Number 4. They focus on earning more than saving. No one ever got rich by just saving. Not to say that it's not important because I'm a big believer in saving and I do save most of my income, but there is always a limit to how much you can save. At the end of the day, you have to spend money to cover your basic needs at least, such as shelter and food. Since you're a human being, you want to entertain yourself and live comfortably. That's why if you just focus on saving, you probably won't go that far. That's why it makes more sense to focus on increasing your income all the time. If you have a job, that's almost impossible because all you can hope for is a 5% raise annually. That's why try looking for other streams of income, do something online, put your money to work, let it generate income for you. Number 5. Beauty pays well. I was a little skeptical about this one until I read the book Beauty Pays why attractive people are more successful. If you think about it, we naturally love to deal with more attractive people. I'm not just talking about the opposite gender, but overall in general. We often criticize celebrities who've done face surgeries to look more attractive, and yet millions of people follow them after they have done that, thus making them wealthier. That's not to say that every attractive person is rich, but attractive people on average earn more, and multiple studies have shown that the better looking men had higher starting salaries and faster earning growth in their first 10 years. For women, looks had little effect on their starting salaries, but did improve their earnings growth in the long run. Some studies even indicated that better looking people get lower interest rates. That's insane. If you're hiring a salesperson, for example, would you hire someone who would attract more customers by being attractive and generate more sales, or someone who is less attractive and would attract fewer customers? Of course, not all professions require great looks such as sales, modeling, or acting. But if you had two equally skilled options, most people would lean to hire the more attractive one. Of course, some people are lucky genetically and naturally look beautiful. but that doesn't mean you can't do something about it. You can't change your genes, but there are plenty of things that you can do, such as dressing up properly, fixing your hair, grooming, exercising, hitting the gym regularly. You can make yourself look much more attractive than you can imagine. Number 6. They take calculated risks. As a wise man once said, if you're not willing to risk the unusual, you will have to settle for the ordinary. That's true, you will achieve nothing without taking some risk. But there is a huge difference between taking a risk by relying on luck and taking a calculated risk. Let me give you an example. Whenever you invest in the stock market, you're always risking your money. But before throwing your money, you can analyze the market and find out the most profitable stocks with minimum risks. The companies you can be confident about and aren't going to declare bankruptcy the next day. Even if their stocks fall in the short run, the company's overall valuation will grow. The same applies to everything else. You want to drop out of college and start a business? Great! But how about figuring out what business you want to start first, come up with a plan and then drop out? Or before borrowing money to start a business, make sure your math is working. Yeah, sometimes taking risky decisions lead to great outcomes, but often they don't, and you might end up losing everything. Number 7. They are a little more greedy than others. Once you make enough money to pay all the bills, it's really difficult to motivate yourself to earn more, and I can say that from my personal experience. That drive and hunger you had at the beginning slowly fades away as you get into a comfort zone. There is nothing wrong with that. If you're satisfied with yourself, what else could you possibly want? But to achieve more than others, you have to be a little bit more greedy. Of course, too much greed isn't good because it can destroy you. But the desire to achieve more, bring more value into the society is a fundamental character. We're not talking just about business, but sports, academics, even games. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up 
And if you're new around here, then subscribe and turn on your notifications. Thanks for watching and until next time.